Hi guys, today I have a Target Shop With Me vlog as well as a recent haul from both Target and Home Goods of home decor and storage organization items. This is my very first green tea frappuccino Starbucks experience. Uh, a lot of people speak highly of this. <laughs> so I decided to try it. I have mixed feelings about it. I think it is a little too sweet for me. I love green tea flavored basically anything, but yeah, I think this, this would be my last time getting this. Probably an unpopular opinion. These are really cute. I feel like they're putting palms on everything lately. These are really cute, but I would not pay this much money for them. They look like they have a lot of new farmhouse storage containers, but these are just too expensive. I think you can find a lot of very comparable stuff at Home Goods. Nice wicker baskets. They have a really nice selection of containers. I just think at the end of the day, Home Goods and TJ Maxx have better prices on this kind of stuff. These remind me of IKEA. Like the Algot system. Same thing almost, except significantly more expensive. Lots of cute storage bins. Price is not cute though. Ooh, I like this metallic design. Oh my gosh, look at these gold polka dots. I love this. They're metallic gold, so cute. Ooh, this pink table is cute. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's like a canvas. I wish it was wood. Mm, $65, kind of a lot. I'm just a cheapo though, I guess. Look at this shower curtain. It is sparkly. It is so sparkly. I don't think you can see how sparkly it is on the camera, but it is beautiful and so much glitter. All right, I am looking at all the hearth and home, hearth and hand, hand and hearth, <laughs> all the Magnolia collection stuff. I think most of this stuff is pretty nice and cute and I, I'd say affordable compared to like West Elm or Pottery Barn, but I still think it's a little bit overpriced for what it is. Oh my gosh, I love these little lantern houses. Look at how cute. Put some little plants in there, little decor pieces. Twenty dollars. Hmm. The big one is twenty-five dollars. I think there's some good pieces in this collection that would be a good purchase. This is a nice wood bowl. I like that. Thirty-five. However, I think a lot of this is just super trendy right now. I've seen a lot of YouTubers haul this little plant mister lately. <laughs> Here's some summer seasonal decor. Very nautical. These 
these little boats are adorable! I love sailboats. There's just something so dreamy about them. These are cute little galvanized trays with rope handles. $15 isn't too terrible. Oh, it's a little garland. Oh, these are cute. Probably said this is cute like 10 million times. Ooh, lots of pretty coasters. Oh, I love this fall one! So cute! Lots of wood and dishware. I really want to get one of these in the near future. These. I like this black wood. That's really pretty. What does this cost? No price. Oh, twenty dollars. All right, I am at. The dollar spot. Lots of Fourth of July goodness. I am not a huge fan of red, white, and blue, but if you are, these little star trays are kind of cute. I am a fan of anything with stars on it. I am a sucker for all these little storage pails. I have quite a few of them. Can't pass up anything with stars on it. I love anything with stars and celestial. I have a bunch of these and they're really nice for storage. Can't beat a dollar. Look at these file folders. How pretty is this ombre? I love pink and orange together. Those are beautiful. Six dollars isn't bad. Look at all these colors. So pretty. These candles. This packaging is beautiful. I am impressed, Target. These are even better than Bath and Body Works has been lately. I'm loving the destination photography on these with the gold foil. So pretty. There's nothing like a gorgeous sunset over Target. First, I have this galvanized type gold tray that I picked up from Target. It was on clearance for $6.48, which I thought was a great steal. And I am currently using it to house my remote controls on my coffee table in my living room. Also from Target, I picked up these two little white buckets from the dollar bins that have these star cutouts in them. They are so cute. I love these for extra storage around the house.
Right now I am using one to store some of our sunglasses and the other in my candle cabinet to hold my wick trimmer and lighter. The rest of the items that I show will now be from Home Goods. First, I have this adorable apothecary storage crate that I picked up on a whim. It is a gorgeous gray color with the apothecary typography on both sides, which is nice. This cost me $5.99 and I will probably use this to hold my soaps or beauty products. Next, I have this little glass house terranium that I found on clearance for $10. I have zero idea what I'm going to do with this. I just thought it was so cute and I could not pass it up. And I'm thinking I would put some succulents in here. I also purchased this large apothecary style jar. I have a couple of these around my house that I really like to display different items in. I think it just looks so beautiful for storage. And right now I am just storing my extra Bath and Body Works wallflowers in here. Moving on, I got these two soft sided burlap storage bins from Home Goods, also that say Farmer's Market on them. I got these with the intention of putting these in an open nook I have in my new kitchen. However, they do not fit. So I may be returning these if I do not find a use for them. However, they are really pretty and they cost $12.99 each. And finally, I got another soft-sided storage bin. This one I actually found first. And I am using it for the open storage in my kitchen. I've decided to put all my extra paper towels in it and it works well. I got this on clearance because it has this blue stain a little bit on the inside of it, but that didn't bother me. And I will be on the hunt for a second one of these to sit beside it in this nook. My next video is actually going to be a reveal of my brand new kitchen that I completely made over DIY style. So I'd love to have you subscribe so you can check that out as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.